God bless you, and we're just so excited to be able to come to you and share an encouraging word today on Good Friday. I'm Pastor Anthony Williams, the pastor of Love Fellowship Church in the beautiful Queen City of Charlotte, North Carolina, and I am just so thankful that today is Friday. I'm so grateful to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that we have another Friday that we've never seen before, and this is not like any other Friday. This is what we call in the body of Christ Good Friday. But you may be asking the question, Pastor Anthony, what is so good about Good Friday? I'm in my house. I can't get out. I can't go to Florida. I can't go to the beach. I can't even have friends over for a cookout or a barbecue. Why are you saying that this is Good Friday? I understand exactly where you are coming from because in America, we're customized. We're accustomed to looking at Fridays as something good. In fact, we have a slogan long before COVID-19 ever hit the scene. We had a slogan called TGIF Friday. Thank God it's Friday. And this is something that movies have been made about. There have been sitcoms about TGIF Friday. We know it. We, we understand what that means. It's Friday night. We're knocking off early. We're getting ready. We're having a good time and all of those things. And you're saying now it seems like all of that has stopped. All of that has ceased in 2020. This good Friday doesn't feel so good. And I want to say to you this. I understand exactly how you are feeling. I feel you right now. It may not appear to be the best type, the best type of TGIF, TGIF Friday that we've had in the past, but I want to submit to you, it is still a good Friday. Every day that we wake up is a good Friday, whether it's a Friday or Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday, Saturday or Sunday, it's still good to be alive. But when we look at it from the context of Jesus, Jesus. And that's what Good Friday, this theme, really was all about. When we look at it scripturally in the Bible, there's a lot that happened on Good Friday. We, we look at the Garden of Gethsemane when Jesus, my God, prayed tears of blood came streaming down his face, the Bible says. He prayed all night long, leading into early Friday morning, after midnight into Friday morning. Then they came and arrested him. He was betrayed by one of his boys. Judas was the one that betrayed him. All of this happened after uh, uh, that 12 a.m. hour on Friday morning. Then he was presented to Pontius Pilate, put on trial, arrested. My God, when Pilate did not find any fault in Jesus, he, he, he said, I find no fault in this man. But the crowd cried, we'd rather have Barabbas, a man set free, and Jesus crucified. So you say, even in the context of Jesus, it doesn't seem like a good Friday. But I want to submit to you today, it wasn't so much that it was a good Friday for Jesus, but it was certainly a good Friday for us. What do you mean, Pastor Anthony? The Bible tells us in Isaiah 53, verses 3 through 5, that Jesus was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of his peace was upon us, and with his stripes or by his stripes, we were healed. Wow. All of that, my God, happened on Good Friday. Can you imagine, amen, if Good Friday did not happen? Can you imagine if Jesus was never arrested? Imagine if he was never put on trial. Can you imagine if they never said, give us Barabbas and crucify Jesus? Amen. All of that happened on that Friday. And I want to encourage you today that you may be having a good Friday that doesn't seem so good. But when you remind yourself of the good Friday that Jesus had and you put it into context, you put it in perspective, then you can understand, then you can realize, then you can praise God for Good Friday. It was not so much that it was good for Jesus. Oh, I need to say that again. It was not that Good Friday was good for Jesus, but it was good for you. So you ask the question, 
so good about Good Friday? The fact that Jesus loved you. What is so good about Good Friday? The fact that Jesus died for you. What is so good about Good Friday? The fact that Jesus shed his blood for you. Do you know that same blood is being poured out now? Even on this Good Friday, the blood of Jesus can cover you. The blood of Jesus can heal you. The blood of Jesus can protect you and wash away your sins right here, right now. As I'm speaking to you in your living room, as I'm speaking to you on your iPhone or your iPad, God is saying, I still have a Good Friday message for you. Even right now in 2020, in the midst of COVID-19, God wants you to celebrate him for Good Friday. He wants you to reflect on his sacrifice. He wants you to reflect that even though Peter, his right-hand man, cursed him, denied him three times, and said that he didn't know him, even though Judas, another right-hand man, threw him up us, sold him out to the Roman soldiers, my God, and the Pharisees, even though Jesus Wow, saw so all of his all of his boys, all 12 of them walk away from him, run away from him and hide. He still went to the cross for you. So you want to know what's so good about Good Friday? Jesus is what's good about Good Friday. Everything that's that's good to you may not be good for you. Wow. Ah, I need to say that again. Everything that's good to you may not good be good for you. Right now, as we're in this new normal, some of us are wishing we could go out and party. <laughs> but sometimes, amen, what's good to us may not be good for us. Some of us, my God, wish we could, amen, drink a fifth of liquor. But some of us, some things that are good to us, it seems like, may not be good for us. I want to submit to you that the Word of God, it's always good to you and good for you. And as we close today... I I want to pray for you, amen, that you will flip the script on Good Friday, this, this, this 2020 Good Friday in the midst of COVID-19 and everything else going on. I want you to thank God that you are still alive and that Jesus, most of all, is risen. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this Good Friday. We thank you, God, that you sent your son, Jesus Christ, to die on Calvary's cross for our sins. And not only did he die, but he rose on the third day with all power in his hand. And we, as a result of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, now have an opportunity to celebrate what was sacrificed on that Friday, that good Friday, where Jesus, my God, was arrested and crucified, where they pierced him and his side and blood and water came running out when they stretched him wide and hung him high. We thank you, Jesus, for it was a good Friday for us, even though it wasn't a good Friday for you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.